Are y'all ready? One, two, three. As a community, we are engaged in united struggle to overcome the social, political, economic, educational, and spiritual inequities which threaten to destroy us as a community. We pledge our commitment to transform our lives and communities to get up, dress up, show up, and never give up to develop our potential as leaders and positive role models. All this we do with appreciation, love, dignity, respect, and knowing that the purpose of our lives. You tell you tell you tell us. Well, when I was in high school, I felt the exams they were giving us. I just couldn't pass, and I didn't have a lot of confidence in myself and so I dropped out. My father, he's always been into drugs and, and crime and, and gangs and stuff like that, and I always thought that's what my life was gonna be. And once I started getting a little older, he started showing me more and more. So I was just, like, I had it fixed in my mind, like this is exactly who I was gonna be. I lost my very best friend, as a matter of fact, and it made me not wanna go to school anymore. I used to hang out with her every day, and she would come to my house every weekend, and. Um, unfortunately, in 2009, she committed suicide. So I went to a job fair at Proctor's. At the job fair, I met one of the previous workers from Youth Build named um, John Wesley. And he told me that I should come to Youth Build because I didn't have a high school diploma or um, a GED. Well, I felt like once I walked through the door for the first time, it was very welcoming. And I just felt high energy like Everyone had smiles on their faces. They were all happy and no one seemed to be upset. No one seemed to be having a bad day. And they, they just welcomed me. I feel like I gained more coming to youth build than I did in high school. And just a short period of time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the what? The, the bar. bar. This is the bar. And our expectation of you is that when we say reach, you reach. You don't settle for can't do it. You don't settle for this high. You do every possible thing you can to reach the ceiling because that's your objective. You don't settle for less. So the mental toughness period is um, it's our three week interviewing period where we assess and if a young person fits for this program and if this program fits for that young person right now. The biggest part about mental toughness is we're asking you to be vulnerable and be comfortable in your vulnerability. You know, get out your comfort zone and be comfortable being vulnerable. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. The, it broke us from the mentality we had, the street life, the struggle, the belief that nothing in the world could help us or bring us up from where we were. Our goal is two things. Successful employment, college. That is our ultimate goals for you. We're gonna go through a whole bunch of other stuff in between. We're gonna hit so many milestones. You're gonna set goals for yourself. You're gonna hit so many other things. But our job ultimately is prepare you for life. As you know, in mental toughness, you have to be on time and things like that. And at the time, uh, I had a little McDonald's job at night and um, you know, of course, you got to be here at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. It was pretty exhausting to go f straight from youth build to work and then back to youth build and to work. And then every day and one day I came in late, about an hour late, and they asked me to leave. When I was in mental toughness, they would talk about it all the time. Like, if you get kicked out right now, don't think about it as we don't want you, but just think about it as it's not your time yet. You could always come back until, you know, you age out or whatever. But there were some people in, in our mental toughness cycle that, tried to come three, four times, and just still wasn't ready, just this place isn't for everybody. The toughest part was working as a team, like putting myself to use for other people. Well, the one thing, and I know everybody hated this, was the balloon game. The balloon game. The balloon challenge. There was 
20 to 22 people in our group at the time. And I believe there was about 52, 50, 54 balloons. And what we had to do was we had to find some way to work together to keep those balloons in the air. And they had to be bouncing. It took us about six, seven hours. The one thing about that game is that like, it's really like a leadership game. It's really determining like what type of leaders is all around you. You gotta learn how to be an individual when it's time to be an individual, but be part of a team when it's time to be part of a team. And that's actually harder than it sounds. From somebody who I didn't know six months ago, seven months ago, is like a brother, a sister to me. Like I would do anything for them. And I feel like that's what mental toughness is for. It's to break you down. So that mentality of you wanting to be alone, to be to yourself, it's gonna break and it's gonna bring you together with everybody around you. Do you feel like you gave it your all in mental toughness? Yes, I feel like I did. I feel like I gave it 120 percent. Why should we accept you into youth girls connectivity? Why should you accept me in youth girl? I feel like you guys should accept me in the youth club just for the fact that like I know what it takes to make that transformation and I'm willing to make those sacrifices in my life to make that transformation and to do better in my life. You got a lot of promise in this program. You got a lot of people in the background cheering you on and advocating for you and wanting to see you do great things because they know you have more than enough potential to do it. You got to believe in yourself and you got to take yourself serious. Going back to the joking and the side comments during group, it has to stop, Jack. It's going to hold you back. People aren't going to take you serious if you are the clown in the room. So with all that being said, Jack, I'd like to say welcome to Youth Bill Schenectady. You earned your spot. Um, <clears throat> I want you to continue to demonstrate leadership. He wasn't fooling me. I knew I made it. He wasn't fooling me. Because I'm where I want to be. This is where I want to be. If I didn't want to be here, I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have gave him my all. I wouldn't have gave him 100%. I wouldn't have dressed, got up, dressed up, and showed up. I put that into my everyday planning. Early, get up early, get ready for the day. I spent too many years just sitting around doing nothing. Just laying down, waiting for somebody to call. <laughs> you know, I gotta go get up and go get it. 